everyone what's going on it's your girl justine and i'm coming at you guys with another video so before i jump right into this video um i kind of want to jog a little bit of a memory and see what you guys know so when i was younger i remember um people used to make fun not of me per se but of girls that had natural hair and they would make fun of them because along the edges of their hair and along their napes um you know the hair would kind of form into a little ball and then um the term people used to use would say like beady bead they'd refer to the nape of the hair as the kitchen and they'd say like oh what's going on in your kitchen and you know and okay so that is a little backstory about that so now being a lot older knowing what I know about natural hair um, having natural hair myself um, it's when that happens pretty much all it is is your curly hair is just curling up and when you have tight coils it literally looks like a little ball, but it's just a very tight curl. Um, and so basically, um, this winter, I've been wearing pea coats. I love pea coats. So between wearing scarves, okay, so between wearing scarves and my pea coats, which have very um, high collars, um, and just even like from clothing, the friction has been rubbing along the nape of my hair. Of of my neck or whatever of my back along my nape and um, basically what's been happening is is that the friction has been causing the hair to curl up and so it looks something like this so I'm gonna put my hand just so that there's a little bit of a contrast so you can see and along the back there, it's been causing the hair to pretty much um, curl up. And sometimes that also happens along the edges, okay? And the reason why I'm making this video is because I just want to show you guys what I do and how I handle that. So right now, I'm in need of a retwist. I have a lot of new growth. So I have a lot of hair that's coming in and it's pretty much not really intertwined at the roots of my locks until I twist my hair. So in the meantime that friction you know with my scarves and clothing what have you is causing the hair to pretty much ball up and it's fine it's natural hair it's a natural thing that happens it's not the end of the world um and the reason why i brought up the story in the in the beginning was just to kind of jog memory because that's what i remember people calling it um oh and something else people used to say is like buckshots they would say oh you got buckshots Kids were so cruel back in the day. And again, no one was saying this stuff to me, but this is how these things were. This is what this was referred to as, okay? Um, so yeah, I want to show you guys what I do and how I handle this, um, especially during this time of the year. So what I do is, um, honestly, all you're going to need to handle this is your trusty spray bottle with some water and a brush. So now I use a two-sided brush. I have brush. I have the soft side and the rough side. Whatever is your preference, go for it. So literally all I do is I take my spray bottle and I lightly spray the back of my hair and then I spray my hands a little bit just to make sure that they're not dry and that they're damp, right? And I go in and just the same way you would detangle I go in and I just kind of smooth the curls out because again, it's not anything bad. It's just hair that has balled up that is just curly. It's a very tight curl. So it just looks like a little ball and it's super simple to handle. So I go in with my hands and I just smooth it out. Super simple, super easy. There's no reason to go in with a comb and be super aggressive or anything like that. It's not necessary. Just go in with your hands. I'm going to spritz a little bit more water. And I hope you all can see what I'm doing. And then just go in and just handle it that way. And now, if you want, you could take your brush. And I'm going to use the soft side of my brush. And I'm going to just brush it up. And there it is perfect and if you want you can take gel and put gel in your hair and then put a headscarf on and let it sit for a little bit just to kind of help gel it into place but whatever you want to do same thing with the front of my hair along my edges just gonna spritz a little bit of water 
make sure my hands are damp and then I'm gonna just go in and fill for whatever fill for you know any any tight coils or whatever being gentle and now that I've done that I'm gonna take my brush again using the soft side of my brush and I'm just gonna brush it up again if you want you can take your gel and you know gel it down but again I have a lot of new growth so it is what it is and then just readjust my ponytail and I am good to go so that took not a very long time um and again it's super simple and like I said it's no reason to take a comb at it at the hair and go crazy and like pull at it no no, no it's not necessary a little moisture will do you well okay so yeah simple as that anyways i hope that was super helpful to someone out there thank you all for watching this video please be sure to like be sure to comment shoot me an email if you'd like follow me on instagram and please subscribe i will see you all in my next video peace